I will have you know, this is take two of talking to you because on my first take, I put my lipstick on and I was three fourths of the way talking to you. I was like wrapping up and I'm like, this is so great. This is a great conversation that I'm having with my shopping buddies. And I did not realize that I had lipstick on my nose. So take two. I originally came to, I'm in Lake Forest, great part of Orange County, to come to the Goodwill. Because I'm like, gosh, I wonder what rich people thrift. And they were saying over the loudspeaker, be sure to visit next door to our Keeper store where all the designer things are. And I was like, what? And I'm like, there's a Keepers next door. I have heard about them. I've never been in one. So I checked out at the Goodwill. I got my little stuff. I spent like $14 and here I was. I scurried over to next door and it was an experience that I was not expecting. like thrifting in a really cool little like um, resale boutique. It wasn't big. It was a little like, I won't say cramped, but there was a lot of stuff in there. There was a lot of people in there and I didn't really get a good spot to sit down and talk to you in there. So that's why I'm talking to you in here. amazing jacket it is it's like to me it's like a one of a kind it's something that I've never seen before and when I saw it I was like oh my gosh this is the coolest jacket And I'm like, oh, bummer, it's too tight. And I was on my way to return it back to the rack and this little lady pops up out of nowhere. And she's like, you need that jacket. And I'm like, what? And she's like, you need that jacket. I go, well, I think it's too tight. She's like, you need that jacket. And I'm like, well, let me try it on for you. So I put all my stuff down and I tried it on for her and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, I think it's too tight here. Why, why? She was like, suck it up, buttercup. You need that jacket. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, no, it's like a Chanel jacket. That's the fit. If it's too tight, just don't breathe. You need that jacket. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go over to the mirror and I'm going to try it on there. And this lady just comes up out of nowhere and she's like, I don't know you, even though she should, she should follow me on social media. But she's like, I don't know you and you need to buy that jacket. And I'm like, what is it about this jacket? I'm like, but it's just a little tight. And she's like, it's still you. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know what? I'm just going to go on a diet. I'm going to like try to lose weight in my armpits.
I did find this jacket from who made this one again this is Abercrombie and Finch Abercrombie Abercrombie and Fitch you know I can't pronounce things this is the size large I thought it fit perfect and what I really liked about it is trench coats are a must we all need a trench coat in our closet and I really liked the variation of the trench coat look love that one this one was actually half off so it was a it was nine dollars found I just knew when I found it that this was going to be amazing and I ju just saw it has a little bit of a of just a little bit of a hole but that's okay because I'm going to cover it up with a sweater during the winter but I found a Marc Jacobs lined just absolutely stunningly beautiful orange skirt this is amazing and I knew it was expensive when I found it you can just tell by the feel you can just tell by the tailoring and it is amazing and I got this one for $10.99 I did not try it on you can tell if it's going to fit your waist if it fits through your your fist to your elbow so I did that and it fits and then another way to tell is if you put it around your neck, which there, it fits. 
I'm gonna squeeze this skirt on if it's the last thing I do. So I'm gonna have my skirt that's too tight and my jacket that's too tight, but not in a bad way, just in a way that I need to get over this fact that I want everything to be oversized and baggy, like the outfit that I'm wearing today. gosh I walked in and I saw that Prada purse and I was like score I can finally afford a Prada purse it was so cute and then I was like this might be too good to be true I checked out Poshmark to see how much they were selling for on Poshmark and Prada purses are expensive. So then I'm like, hmm, you know what? I have had it before where I'm like, oh my gosh, I found this cute purse, score, score, score. And then it ends up not being a real, the real brand. and I googled how to figure out if it was a real Prada. The real Pradas have the metal, um, the metal little brand, the little emblem. That's what I'm trying to say. It has a, a, it has a metal emblem and this one was embossed. So I was like suspicious. Then I decided to take a look inside the purse. And while it was really clean, I'm like, there's gotta be some sort of tag in here, like some sort of, you know, like Louis Vuitton has like a serial number or something like that. So I found a tag, all right, and it said made in China. So I was like, well, Lonnie, if you didn't get the first clue, this is the clue for you. It was still $80. It was a very nice knockoff but there was no way I was spending $80 for a fake Prada. So I left it there for some other shopper. shop you know what I'm gonna go back to Orange County and I'm gonna go there again there was some great finds I think I'm gonna go on a weekday just because the weekend was it was a little crowded and I think it might be a little bit more enjoyable experience to go on the weekend but we're definitely going back so as always thank you for hanging out with me and being my shopping buddy I appreciate you immensely I I, I just can't say it enough Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, be bright, be bold, be brave, and I will see you on the next shopping adventure. Bye!